We're live. Hi, hi everyone. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Humane Ed Live. We've got Sable here today. Sable is uh, one of our dogs, obviously. She's seven years old. She's some kind of mix, um, some kind of pit mix, I'm guessing. Um, she's got these really cute ears, so I don't know what she's mixed with. On her, web, on her website, her picture kind of looks like, <laughs> she sees her friend Leah back there. Um, kind of looks like she has cropped ears, but she has her whole ears. Um, she's very cute and special, and we love her. Um, we're hanging out in our lobby. We were going to do this outside, but someone was like using a lawnmower or something, and it was pretty loud, but our lobby is kind of loud too, so I hope you can all hear me. Um, if not, you can just look at Sable's cute face the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> How old is Sable? She's about seven. She's got low gray, she's but... She's got lots of energy. Oh. And she's very cuddly, as you can see. She's trying to go somewhere. <laughs> she's on the move. But, so last month hey. we celebrated Black History Month every week. And this month, it is Women's History Month, so we're doing something similar. Um, we're specifically going to be talking about all of um, the achievements made by the women who founded HHS and work here um, now, making this place uh, what it is, the awesome place that it is. And Sable's going to help us out, be a cute little face to chat. Um, it's just a still. Come here, girl. This is always the thing that happens, like we sit here for 10 minutes, they're calm, they just want to snuggle, the cameras go on, and just the Thanks. energy levels skyrocket. Come here. Sable. Come here, girl. Can you come back up? You can sit on my paper. She's like, girl. Oh, okay. I like couches. She does, she does love to snuggle on the couch, like most pity mixes. Um, so, just uh, before we get into our main topic today, a little background on Women's History Month. Um, it started out uh, in 1982 as Women's History Week, and since 1995, um, like each president has uh, declared every March Women's History Month, and the month is dedicated to celebrating the accomplishments and acknowledging like all of the um, contributions that women have made um, like in American history, and just celebrating them. So we're going to be celebrating the women of HHS today. Um, some of you might know this story if you've ever visited and had a tour, um, but the Hinsdale Humane Society was founded in 1953 by six women who lived in the Hinsdale area, and at the time, there was no animal shelter in DuPage County, um, or there was no, like, Humane Society in, let's see, was it a Humane Society or, anyway, there was, there was no Humane Society in DuPage County at the time. Um, and so what, there were still obviously stray animals all over the place, so what they did at the time was they basically had this shack um, where they would, there were just like kennels loosely around like in one room, um, or not, not even kennels, they weren't that fancy, they were literally just cages that they would put the animals in, um, in just like a big room, and in that room, there was no heat, there was no air conditioning, there was just one light bulb dangling down from the ceiling. There wasn't anybody like going in to take care of them every day, all day, like we do here. Um, so they were pretty neglected. Um, and it was said at the time that nobody in the Hinsdale area would, she's gotta have her own space. <laughs> <laughs> you go relax over there, I guess. <laughs> she's like, okay. <laughs> um, so it was said at the time that no one would want to adopt an animal out from that, um, that little like shack because people were really concerned about diseases spreading in that environment and people were concerned about there being a rabies outbreak. So no one wanted to take those animals. They were pretty much just put in there and then neglected um, and no one would really want to take care of them. So. It was pretty loud, as you can imagine, all the barking going on. It probably smelled really bad, with no one cleaning up after them all the time. Like, we have our staff and volunteers walking through our kennels and all day, like, picking up all these little poops that these guys do. <laughs> um, so if there was no one doing that, I'm sure it would smell really, really bad. Definitely. Um, and yeah, and of course there was the issue of it being easier for diseases to spread from animal to animal in that kind of environment. So these six women um, realized that they could make a huge difference in their community and in the lives of all of these animals. You found a toy? <laughs> I got this just for you. <laughs> so what 
they did was they um, they started using like their own cars to go pick up strays. They used their own telephones to hear about um, like stray animals, lost animals, all that kinds of stuff. Um, what year was this? This was in 1953. So. Um, when they, when they started the Hinsdale Humane Society, which happened in 1953, they had three goals. Um, the first goal was to educate the public about the like proper care of animals, like sable, right? How they need food and fresh water every day, and they need walkies and playtime, right? Um, the second goal was to arrange for like the humane disposal, I don't really like that word, of um, unclaimed or unwanted animals, so like humane euthanasia of those animals who uh, couldn't find um, uh, someone who would take care of them. And then the third was to provide a safe and sanitary pound um, for all of these animals while they wait for their forever homes um, in place of the one that was there at the time, that little shack um, where they would just kind of be thrown in there and um, really left with no one to care for them. So. There's all this, this story's on our website. If you go to like About Us, there's a bit called Our History where you can read like all the details of this story. But um, one of these, the founding members, Virginia Healy, her son, Jim, he remembers the, those days in the 1950s when they started out the Hinsdale Humane Society. Um, and he remembers that it was a ton of work. He would be there like every day, um, taking care of them, giving them food, water, cleaning up after them. Um, and he remembers, he talks about his mom going to go pick up strays in her 1951 Cadillac. Um, and he talks about them answering calls on their own like personal phones. Um, and he also talks about how they would not have been able to achieve the success and like lay the foundation of the organization you see here today without the help of all of the really dedicated volunteers that got involved. Um, so in a lot of ways, the, those core values and those like three main goals that the, the women had um, are really like a core part of what our organization does today. We rely a ton on community support and um, <laughs> volunteers. We have a team of over 300 volunteers. We've got like, I think like 80 something foster families and then our staff is just about 30 people. Um, so back to the history part. Um, in, uh, so in 1959 was when the village of Hinsdale um, like approved a new building for the Hinsdale Humane Society. And this new building, um, it was like established on September 17th, 1959. What do you smell back there? And the cost of the building total was $25,000. I wish it was that affordable to start an animal shelter today. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure that was a lot more money at the time. Um, and the new shelter had 11 kennels, a small room for dogs and cats, and a reception area. And it was also the first humane society in DuPage County. Oh, wow. So you compare those 11 kennels in a small room to what we have today. I just ran around and counted. Um, that we have about 35 dog kennels and about 53 cat kennels and that's not including some of the like more random spots we have uh, kennels like in our uh, like room that we have a grooming bath there's a couple kennels in there we also sometimes put animals in our offices um, if we just want to hang out or if we need some extra room um, so it's a huge upgrade um, so they also started um, the Humane Education Program in 1956. They wrote this little brochure called The Perils of Pal, all about um, like the proper like, treatment of animals and the compassion tre compassionate treatment of animals. Um, and they distributed that uh, pamphlet to like, all sorts of other um, animal shelter groups and animal care groups so that they could share everything that they've learned and try to help make the world a more compassionate place for animals. Wanna come back up here? Let's have a snuggle. She just can't make up her mind. She can't choose. Um, so since then, we've expanded a ton in all the programs that we offer. Um, a lot of you probably know about our pet therapy program. 
That was started um, with the Pet-a-Pet -Pet program, which is still going on today, in 1982, when they would take uh, therapy animals into nursing homes to hang out with seniors. Um, in 2005, uh, the READ program was uh, started. That's the uh, Reading Education Assistance Dogs program. In 2010, the therapy dogs began working with children uh, with special needs at the Adventist Paulson Pediatric Rehabilitation Center. And in 2013, uh, we started a relationship with the uh, Behavioral Evaluation Unit at Adventist Hinsdale Hospital. And there, our therapy animals work with um, kids who are struggling with anxiety and depression, or, or not even just kids, just anyone of all ages. Um, so, since the beginning, we, as probably a lot of you know, if you've been to this building, we've expanded a ton. This place is way bigger than that, um, than our old shelter back on uh, Elm by the hospital. Um, so, this this place is like three times the size of the other place, um, which is funny because there's way more than three times um, the amount of kennels. Um, <laughs> we've also been able to have our veterinary staff here. We have Dr. K and Fred and Patty. Um, and they not only take care of our animals here, but they also do a ton of work. And um, we allow our facility to be used by other organizations that um, do like spay and neuters for stray cats. Um, we also have, uh, Dr. K started the uh, Milstein vaccination clinic, um, and that allows uh, families to have a low cost option to still take care of their pets, because everyone deserves to have happy and healthy pets. Um, and uh, healthcare for our animals can get pretty pricey, so that's a super awesome program. And we just continue to grow. It feels like every day. Um, we were able to uh, take in about 1,500 animals. That's cats and dogs and a few rats here and there, um, maybe a bird or two in 2020. Um, so they were all able to find uh, nice loving homes. That was really awesome. And we're just continuing to grow every day getting in new animals like Sable here, and hopefully Sable will be one of like 1,800 or so, oh, there she goes, uh, that go home this year, hopefully very soon, because um, she needs someone to snuggle on the couch with. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much all we were going to talk about today. Um, Sable's really itching to go for a walk, I think. It's nice out. Yeah, it is nice. To. I'll have to take her out. We'll go take a bathroom break, okay? Um, but yeah, if you're, we're doing the same adoption, like our adoptions are working the same way that they have been throughout COVID. Um, so if you're interested in Sable or any of our other animals, you can check them out on our website. You fill out an application form and then you give us a call and leave a message. Just letting us know again who you're interested in um, and then we'll give you a call back. Do a little interview to figure out like who would be a good fit. Um, figure out what kind of lifestyle you're living and you want to lead with your dog or cat. Um, and then hopefully we'll set up a time for you to come meet them and take them home forever and be best friends. <laughs> right, Sable? Sable is ready to find her forever family. Right, girl? She says, I'm seven years old. I'm too old to be sitting in here with all these young dogs. Right, girl? She got the cutest face. She is so cute. We all love Sable. She's a sweetie pie. Right, girl? But she's one of our sweet little girls here. Um, and hopefully someone will see this or see her on our website and want to take her home and love her forever because she's super special and she deserves a loving home. But um, we'll be back again next week. Hopefully Sable will be adopted by them. And we'll be continuing to celebrate um, all the accomplishments that women have made here at HHS to make this place great. Sable, you're one of those ladies. So Sable says bye. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye bye. Thank you. Bye everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs>